But my influences are basically two uh, amazing women that I've heard throughout all my life. And one of them is Joni Mitchell, and the other one is Chabuca Grande, and they have inspired my work ever since I was a child. The music industry, it's redefining itself. It's a hard question to complete. Uh, sentence, sorry, to complete. It's, it's changing so much. The URL where you can find my music is uh, lamusicadepamela.com. And I'm also in Facebook in Pamela Rodriguez Official. I am planning on, on releasing an album maybe this year or uh, early next year. I really don't know when the release date is. Um, I'm a, a really, really independent artist, so I just, um, it's not that I have, you know, a date that I have to release it by that date. I, it's, I, it, it's, it's good. I, I love being an independent artist because I really, you know, go with the flow of, of things. You know, I have, I, I need, I have no need to rush and every album that I've done has really been, uh, very authentic, you know, it hasn't been rushed or anything. It's just been um, what it's been with its own natural flow. Uh, and yeah, I, I plan on, on performing a lot uh, this year. I'm going to be in July in the LAMC. So those are, at least that's my, my US gig that I have uh, and for this year. And well, I'm, I'll be playing in, in South America, a lot, in Mexico also. Uh, I'm listening to to a lot of um, different artists all the time. Uh, I, I, I'm kind of obsessive about things, so uh, it's, I, I kind of fall in love with one artist, and I just don't uh, leave them until I, I until I fall in love with some some other artist. <laughs> So right now I am listening to the Dirty Projectors and I'm madly, madly, madly in love with them, madly in love. I discover new music uh, on, on the internet. I'm a very internet uh, person. Uh, but after I find that I like, I go and buy the original music. I, I like uh, collecting um, vinyl records and I listen to a lot of vinyl. So I usually go and buy the vinyl after I've listened to online, because I, I like to have the, you know, the, the physical um, pu public publication. I like to have it, I like the artwork. I, I, I like appreciating all that work, and sadly, it has, that has been a little lost over the years. How will musicians make a living if fans continue to expect music is to be free? Well, I guess we have the, the live shows and you know you, I, I just think today is just a matter of being creative you know and I, I think it's cool to at, at least to to be in my generation because I've never known the music industry to be uh, in another way uh, I've always known that I've had to do things on my own and I, I don't care I really like doing it I, I I I enjoy it and I enjoy having my my record company and my independent record company that is Mamacha and I and I have a blast just working and creating things you know in order to survive at least. My musical heroes well I said it's Chabuca Grande and Johnny Mitchell those are my heroes and my I'm in love with them I've always been. A guilty pleasure on the road no I have no guilt for my pleasures really mm -mm. not a single one <laughs> well, on tour, well, everything happens, of course. While you're on tour, you're doing shows. I've, I've had every, everything. Um, I, I kicked my piano by accident once. I was dancing, and I, I did like a kick, and I kicked the piano, and it fell all over the stage, and it was kind of funny. There's n there aren't many things that make me feel embarrassed or anything. <laughs> I just I, I like laughing and I like laughing at myself um, most most of all. But, oh, of course. Anytime I listen to Bob Dylan or I listen to Johnny Mitchell or or um, Nick Cave, you know, I wish I wrote their songs. But well, 
there, I like to call that inspiration. Really, it's, it's kind of uh, bizarre. Uh, the, I couldn't define the audience that follows me, and I kind of like that because I'm a kind of person that I'm, I think I'm undefinable. I, I wouldn't know where to start, you know? So my audience is full of all different types of people. There's like super, super young people and kids and old people and, and girls and boys and everything. I, I like just having, I love diversity. And I think that is projected in my, in my audience. I, diversity, I think, is what makes the world the richest. And I love every person that is unique. And well, I guess my, my, my audience is full of that. My nominated work is uh, Reconocer. And this is my third album. And it's kind of a breakthrough in my in my career because before I was doing very different music. Uh, Reconocer is, was made at a stage where I was really trying to answer questions about myself as, as a woman, as a spirit, as a human. I think it's a, a very human and soulful work. Uh, I recorded this album with all my best friends from college and I think that was the happiest thing that could ever happen to me. Uh, it was a period of uh, a couple of weeks that we were in the studio uh, and it was just like having a, you know, a college reunion. We were really having a blast recording all the music and just remembering the, the life that we have together. I chose to submit my work to the Independent Music Awards uh, with my record company, Mamacha, because um, I've, I've been following the, the, the awards for, for several years, and I've always thought that, there were, the, the, that the principles of the awards were really cool. I like that they had uh, some very cool people for the, for the jury, and I just like the things that were... Um, that, that, that were around, you know, the, the whole um, award. And, well, I have a very good friend that, that won this award a few years ago, and he talked to me about it and said that it was a very cool experience, and I, I figured it, it was something cool to do. Well, my definition of success is very clear at this stage of my life, and I think that have, being successful is to be able to enjoy life and to enjoy what you're doing. And I really don't think I'm ever going to change this definition of success because you could have anything, but if you're not enjoying it, you're not successful anymore.